Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Garg and welcome back to this new lecture series for open source CDA tools and in this lecture series we are going to see how to use open source CDA tools and uh, we will see the complete flow from RTL to GDS2 uh, using open source tools. You see, uh, we I have faced a lot of queries where people do not have access to the license software and thus are not able to uh, practice the VLSI design flow. All right. So uh, there is no need to worry because uh, for that we have open source CDA tools. They are completely open source and are uh, available to use without any license. All right. So uh, in this lecture series, we are going to see how to use these open source tools, how to download and install these. Okay. And we will see how to uh, create various designs, uh, perform various steps and everything using these tools. Okay. So there are uh, within past few years, there have been a lot of development in the open source CDA tools. And uh, uh, today we are going to see a set of tools that is Qflow. All right, that is a VLSI design flow uh, tool chain for RTL to GDS flow, and that flow chain, that tool chain is known as Qflow. All right, so it will be basically when we install the Qflow, we install a lot of tools uh, with that Qflow. All right, so for specific step, there is a specific software. And uh, before moving ahead, let me tell you one thing that all these tools are Linux based tools. So I recommend you either you have a dual boot operating system or you have a Linux operating system or else uh, you can use a virtual box like me. All right. Like you can see here, I am using this uh, Linux virtual box. All right. So uh, first of all, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the VSD flow, all the steps of VLSI design flow and uh, the softwares which we are going to use. That is that softwares which we are going to install. All right, so uh, let us start with the VLSI flow. So as you can see on my screen, yeah, so now I hope it is clearly visible. All right, so VSG flow, basically everything starts from preparation. Uh, in that, what happens when we have that VLSI flow uh, software installed, first of all, what we need to do is we need to provide the input for the chip design. That is the RTL step. That is the flow is called RTL to GDS. That is from register transfer level to uh, the graphic data stream. That is the GDS2 layout. And uh, initially we need to provide the Verilog file. That is the input Verilog or VSGL input file, anything uh, which works as an input and the technology file that uh, we will be using. All right. So by default, uh, the Qflow uses SCMOS technology. We can uh, provide any PDK for the open source uh, tools we want as per the developments. So that's up to us. After the providing the Verilog file uh, or the input file, uh, we, we, need to pro uh, we need to do the synthesis step. So what synthesis step does is it is going to actually map the code and it will see that it, how it will be uh, if it is being able to map on the hardware. That is if the code is recognized on the hardware or not. That is uh, that needs to be done in the synthesis step and it is very uh, important step. So that synthesis step is done using the tool known as uses. That is again an open source tool, uh, one of the tool in this Qflow design chain. Next thing is the placement. That is the placement of macros, cells and blocks uh, inside our chip that is done using Greywolf. Next thing is the static timing analysis. All right, so static timing analysis basically check for the timing violations in our chip that is for the setup time violation, hold time violation or any other timing violations. All right, that is done using open timer or Vesta anything. Uh, we might be uh, installing open timer with the Qflow. Next thing is the routing. After placing the blocks and setting timing uh, analysis, see there is one static timing analysis before routing and uh, then we do the routing. In routing, uh, we need, we make global routes and detailed routes. Okay. Uh, there are two types of routing, global routing and detailed routing. All that is done using Q router. And after that, we will be uh, doing post route STA. That is post route setting timing analysis. That is again done using uh, open timer tool. Okay. See now uh, what we have is we have our placement. Uh, static timing analysis, routing, uh, post route static timing analysis, all these things we have done. 
all right so now our chip all the routes are there in the chip the blocks have been placed in the chip uh, timing analysis is done now what we need to do is we need to check for any errors all right so now there is a step that is migration and drc that is check for electromagnetical error and drc is a design rule check these are done using magic tool that is the layout tool layout generation tool in this uh, vsd flow next thing is layout versus schematic and that is performed lvs it is performed using netgen software next thing uh, gds again the final gds is uh, like all these files after uh, migration and drc will be opened in magic and the final gds2 will be available in the magic so after that we will be reaching to the final uh, cleanup and sign off that is we will be having the final chip and whole this this whole process is completed using qflow all right so this is the flow for vlsi design that is rtl to gds flow now what i'm going to do is i'm going to teach you how to install all these uh, linux based tools all right so uh, first of all uh, what i have done is i have already installed linux based tools on my system okay on my virtual box uh, however i have made a github repository that is with a screenshot and steps on how to install the qflow you see this is how this is the final qflow this is how it looks like you can see here these are preparations and this is placement static timing analysis routing post route sta and all these steps all right these this is how uh, our final software looks like so now uh, i will what i will do is i will show you first of all uh, the link to the github repository is this uh, you can go to github.com slash shubham garg 1299 and in that you will find this repository that is vsd flow steps although i will be sharing the link in my description but here if you open my repository that is uh, github.com slash shubham garg 1299 you can see here that uh, there are these repositories in the repositories you will find the repository that is vsd flow steps you can see here these are the repositories here this repository is available that is vsg flow steps so here you will find all the screenshots and uh, steps to install the open source cda tools all right so uh, by referring to these steps what i'm going to do i will also install these tools side by side on my virtual machine uh, however since these are already installed so uh, the soft uh, the machine is going to tell that this uh, requirement is satisfied or the software is already installed so that's okay you will get the idea and you can see always the screenshots because you know if i uh, start installing everything from scratch uh, it actually takes some time to install depending upon the processor and system specifications the time varies and it takes some time to install the tools so that's why uh, i prepared this github repository so here first of all uh, let's start let me open the terminal So here I have opened a terminal. So first of all, you can see steps to install on Ubuntu. Uh, this first of all is opening the terminal. Next thing we need to uh, do install the git. Okay, so we can use this command sudo apt git install git. All right. Now let me just copy this command. Okay, uh, sorry. That copy paste is uh, two-way copy paste is not available. My bad. So you can see uh, it is saying it is already installed the newest version. All right. So next, you have installed Git. What you need to do is you need to uh, clone this this repository. That is, uh, I have provided the link. Okay, so the, you need to clone this repository. All right. Once you clone this repository, you need to change the directory from uh, to VSG flow. All right. So I might be having this directory already. So I will just. You can see I did cd VSG flow. So I am in the VSG flow directory. All right. So now we can see the following items in the VSG flow directory. 
so when i go and do ls you can see these uh, type of items these are available all right so these things are available in the directory now next what we need to do is we need to uh, type this command that is chmod triple seven open source underscore ed underscore tool install dot sh okay that is we will be running this shell script all right so you can see this script is here and we will be running this shell script uh, for the installation and after that uh, we need to uh, write this thing all right to enable that script so once we do that uh, we will see this kind of thing happening and this thing can take time all right but it is basically according to this script uh, it is going to install all the open source tools automatically all right so that is why this script is important we don't have to manually install every tool it is going to install the uh, uh, tools automatically and you can see the list of tools installed these are uses for rtl synthesis uh, this is another tool blip fan out for uh, high fan out net synthesis gravel for placement q router for detailed routing magic for vlsi layout tool netgen for lvs open timer open sta for static timing analysis tool so these tools are uh, available now let us try and run these tools that is uh, one of the tools we will going to run so let's say i run this uses tool so we can see uh, this is uh, this tool is actually working you see and it is installed perfectly the file and verilog file within the terminal itself like in the screenshot or else we can do one thing that we can open qflow graphic user interface that is qflow space gui all right so we can open qflow graphic user interface and it is again taking time so yeah it is oh, it opened okay so here you can see uh, this graphic user interface by default there is a 45 nanometer technology file present and it is saying saying the option of verilog source file so here we can select verilog source file okay and uh, we can perform all the steps that is preparation synthesis placement etc and you see when uh, these steps are performed uh, it will run every step and it is still uh, at the moment it is showing not done then it is going to show a tick or a green tick or uh, done that is these steps are performed and it will run till uh, cleanup we can uh, even set the stop after every step if we want okay and uh, uh, it is what it is going to do since uh, we are <laughs> doing this thing uh, since uh, we are using this queue flow it is going to do everything automatically that it is it is going to do the synthesis placement sta post out sta everything on its own for, and according to the uh, specifications uh, which the tool feels right all right that is it will uh, basically it is going to use uh, the timing analysis and uh, the power analysis and everything uh, and the area and everything it is going to take in uh, take in check as per the tool okay so uh, basically we won't get much options uh, using the qflow gui however we can use uh, the tool every tool specifically to uh, you know if we want some uh, we want to add any parameters or any specific configuration we can interact with every tool specifically all right however uh, in the upcoming videos i am going to see uh, i am going to tell you how to use this qflow manager so that uh, you can have a basic understanding of how to develop a chip all right you won't be getting many options because this process is uh, going to get uh, executed automatically once you added the verilog file and technology file but uh, in order to make changes you can uh, change using these settings first of all it is going to show you some settings or otherwise you can open uh, the specific tool like we opened uses or anything in that you can do in these settings you will have a very limited options all right so this is how you you can install uh, these open flow open source cda tools that is in this uh, video we have discussed the qflow manager tool all right and there are other sets of tools that is open road open lane and all these kind of tools but uh, this is one of the very basics 
and uh, that's why it is important to, uh, to learn to uh, get a grasp of the basics and uh, to set a foundation all right so uh, this is all for this video and remember to uh, you can see the steps on this github repository that is shubhamgar1299 and you will find the vsg flow steps i will also share the link in the description so this is all for uh, this video see you guys in the next video